Greetings, salutations, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? We're all doing fantastic. We're at the Old Stupid Will Boutique today in Tustin. Let's go inside and check it out. Ooh, this is a Riedel. Like, I think this is like for wine, carafe, something. It's only three bucks. Riedel's really expensive. Anyway, I was sidetracked. Let's look at the handbags and see what we can find. I love this handbag. That's really cool. What is this? Like a fossil or something? That's a Rabin Co. Donna Buckman. I was drawn by the diamond. <laughs> okay, I found two bags. I found this Fry Tote, which is like $12.99. And this like Raven and Lily bag for seven. I really like the handles on here. They're like metal. Alright, you guys won't believe what I just found. Uh, this is a lamp by a brand called Human scale and I liked it because I'm going to use it for like lighting for videos it has like a couple little marks I don't know if I can like I think those actually can be buffed out maybe cleaned or something um, it's like literally eight dollars and check it out the retail for this thing five hundred dollars crate and barrel five hundred bucks crazy five hundred dollars eight bucks these Oneida plates are really cute there's only five these thin barrel plates are super cute too. There's only four though. This really heavy glass face is only $3.99. I think I might get it because my mom is going to have her friends over. And we saw this thing where you can like, like at a party, you can like make your own bouquets or whatever. So I wanted to get a bunch of these vases and then get like flowers and then they can make their own bouquets at home or at the house and that would be like a super cute activity so there's those two I also found this little guy $3.99 it's also a really nice heavy vase I think I might get this too I'm thinking about it but check out these other stuff I found okay I found this Madewell from 10 bucks this bag is so cute and then American Girl doll, $6.99. Check it out, I also found this little away thing. And sequin Hello Kitty, fabulous. Also just found this Dooney and Burke bag, $12.99, hot diggity dog. Hey guys, we are back at the house and I'm super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the Goodwill because boy, did we get some really great stuff. I think this might be one of my best thrift hauls this year from one Goodwill store, so this might be the best Goodwill haul I've had this whole year. And I found so much great stuff, so I don't even know what to start off with. But I think we're gonna start off, let's start off with like uh, the glassware, or glass items that I found. So, I told, I told you guys in the store that my mom's friends are gonna be coming over um, very soon. And it's gonna be kind of like a little bit of a reunion. They all went to like nursing school together and there's gonna be a lot of them coming over. Some of, their, some of them are coming from different countries and a bunch of them are coming from different states. And we're all meeting here at the house. I'm actually gonna take them thrifting also, which is gonna be really fun. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. I'm gonna to have to ask them to see if they would like to be filmed. Some of them I'm sure would like be totally fine with it, but who knows. Uh, so I can ask them if they would like to do that. They're gonna be here I think for like a few days. And the first day that they arrive, we're gonna do like a party or something at the house and it's gonna be fun at the end of the party or during the party my mom and I wanted to do a make your own bouquet station that they can like make their own bouquet of flowers and take them home and I mean it's not gonna be like the easiest for like the international people to do but it's okay <laughs> <laughs> they can still make one anyway, and then they can give it to someone or just leave it here at the house. It'll be fun regardless. Uh, plus, who doesn't love a good bouquet, you know? And we wanted, uh, I wanted to find like a bunch of vases and stuff for them to take home and also to put the flowers in. So, uh, I don't know if this, this could be like one of the take home vases. Like, I I'm, don't know exactly know how like the setup is going to be yet. I just wanted to be able to have as much stuff as possible. Plus, I'm always giving these vases and stuff away anyway. So, even if I had like just a bunch of extra, it's great. Uh, I did give away like a bunch last year because we went to like a lot of people's houses and stuff like that. Whenever we visit like my aunts um, or whatever, I like to bring over like a little thing of flowers in a vase and I just let them keep it and they love it so yeah it's always great to have these on hand and this is our first one it's a three this is only three dollars and 99 cents I love these vases I love like when they like I don't know what to call it, like a trumpet kind of shape 
and just glass. It's really heavy too, which is really nice. I love a heavy vase because uh, it just makes it so much more stable. And it also means that like the heavier the glass, the more expensive it was originally too. So this probably was pretty pricey when it was at the retail store where that it was at. It's probably like, I want to say like $50 probably. And yeah. It's really pretty. It's in really good shape too. Just a little dirty. It just needs a good cleaning. This was probably used as just not even a regular vase. I think they just put like sand inside of here and like shells or something because I can see remnants of the sand inside. But yeah, just a great class vase. And then I got these two vases. I love these just skinny tall vases. These are perfect. These are going to be actually really good for just putting the flowers in that they're going to use. So I picked these up. They're two different sizes. One is a little bit thinner than the other. I think they're both the same height. One was $3.99 and one was $4.99 and they're both also pretty heavy which is really nice and yeah so I got these two guys. I'm not even gonna take the other one out. It's just we got two. Also sorry for all the noise. <laughs> Someone's vacuuming. The ice maker is making some noise behind me. Next up I got this. Mm, it, it's literally brand new still. This is a Veluspa Spiced Pumpkin Latte Candle. It smells so, so good. And Veluspa candles are expensive. I wonder if it has the original price. I know it's like underneath here, but sometimes when you... Oh yeah, $36.50 was the original price. And I got this for $3.99. So, and I love the little vessel that it's in. I think it's really pretty. Mmm, this just smells so, so good. I just want to light it right now. Mmm. Okay, so we got that. I love a good, I love a good thrifted candle, especially if it's like literally still brand new. So good. <laughs> Alright, next up. I don't even know what the next item is. Okay, do I do the bags already? I almost forgot about this guy. Okay, this is a, I don't know if this is a decanter. Is that what you would call this? And this is... Hold on. Oh, they had the sticker on it. This is a Tarnow, T-A-R-N-O-W. This little sticker. Tarnow decanter. I don't know. For I think this is for alcohol, right? And it's really, really pretty. Uh, I looked them up. Like Tarnow, like I think this might be vintage. And they're pretty expensive. But I got this one for $6.99. And my mom likes to use these for, for making... Um, vanilla extract. So I actually got another one at another store. I'll just show you guys anyway. This is from another haul. I got another one earlier. So this is perfect. Mom can put some vanilla extract inside of here and make some of her own. And yeah, this just a really pretty little decanter. I like that there's a hole in the middle. <laughs> I think that's really fun. Or I know like a lot of people just like buy these two for just like decoration, which is also really cool. I just think this is just a really pretty piece. And I love that it still has the topper, which is hard to find. So whenever I find them with the tops, I usually will pick them up. But it's pretty rare for me to find them with the tops intact or like not damaged. So this was exciting. $6.99. So I got that. And then, oh, let me show you. See, like here's one of the one of the ones that mom made, late made. This is a newer one. So the it's not too dark yet, like the liquid inside. You gotta keep them in here for a while. But this is one of the newer ones that she just did. And yeah, vanilla extract. Okay, now to the bags. We got, this is a fry tote bag. It's just a gray leather. Uh, it does need like a little bit of help right here. Like the stitches need to be redone on the handle. And the bag could use like a good conditioning and cleaning. But honestly, like it's not too bad. The fry leather normally looks like worn in like this anyway. So I think just like a nice conditioning to even out the tone would like help it a lot. And interior does have uh, some stainy stains on the interior, but not the worst. This was only $10, which I think this is a great price because fry bags are really expensive, like hundreds. And I think it's like the bones are still really good. Plus this would be really fun to dye black. Like it'd be really easy to dye this black or um, like a darker gray or something really or you can just paint it a different color would be fantastic too So this would be a good project bag actually we might just leave it as a project bag if anyone wants it Like I feel like project bags if the bones of the project bag are really good like the outcome will be pretty nice Then next up I have this guy. I Love these I love when they like give these away at the airplane on the airplanes. This is in a way little a luggage pouch. It's from um, United. 
I think it was like one of the passenger gifts or whatever. And it was only $3.99. And these are fantastic for traveling. You can use them uh, to put like your small toiletries and stuff in or gadgets like battery packs, chargers and all that stuff. That's what I like to use them for. And this is an Away one. Away is a really great travel brand and just a really cute little piece. And it's in this beautiful navy blue. So got that, fantastical. Then up next, I have, oh, this is a bag uh, by the brand called, oh, Ra Raven and Lily, and this is made in Ethiopia. I believe this brand, I think all their bags are made by hand in Ethiopia, and they help the people over there, which I think is really, really nice. And their bags are beautiful. I've seen, I've started to see quite a few of them at the thrift stores and secondhand stores in general, and they're always beautiful. And the thing I really like about this bag is how substantial these look, metal handles are. I feel like these are, they're real, I love it. The handles are so nice. The strap is a nice length, it's a nice shoulder strap length. You can always just remove it though and use a different strap on here. It'd be really pretty with like a fun colored guitar strap, like something vibrant and like, pretty or just by itself and then you can just wear it like this on your wrist and look they look like bracelets like jewelry it's so nice this is only seven dollars and 99 cents it zips across the top there's one interior zipper pocket it's really nice and clean inside this bag is in really great shape i think the exterior could just use a good conditioning and then it's on its way it's such a beautiful bag i love this style like, i thought it was a made while bag when i first saw it and they don't use hardware like this on like normal bags like this bag like the hardware is so nice it's so substantial and i love like the texture that it has too i think it's really pretty they honestly just look like jewelry more than anything else all right next up we have this amazing now this is the madewell bag this is the madewell i've actually thrifted this same exact bag a few months ago i think in the same color or no maybe it was black i don't remember i know i thrifted the same style and size in this one and then a smaller version as well. But I don't remember the colors. I think one might, one might have been in black and the other I think might have been tan. But this is in a golden tan leather. My favorite color. This was only $10 a deal. I love that it has the long shoulder strap. And I love how chic the bag look. Like it's it's beautiful. And then it has a crossbody strap, which is fantastic. And it just has a magnetic snap in the middle. I think mom would really like this bag. I should show it to her. And then um, I they wrote, of course, inside, which is kind of a bummer around the tag i'll see if i can remove it but yeah it might not come out it might stain that little portion but one interior pocket and that's it magnetic snap at the top just like that 10 bucks then up next they had this Dooney and burr satchel this one was so so good um someone actually was holding this they actually brought out a cart right and i like could not film because everyone like ran to it someone was actually holding this and then they set it back down i don't know if they thought it was like too damaged or wrinkled or something i don't know but this is a dooney and burke satchel and this one is beautiful it's just like a little squished in the front but i think just like it just needs a little bit of like a reshape and then it'll be good to go i'm just gonna stuff it but it's beautiful it's a beautiful brown leather i love that it has a top handle it has a cross body strap the little keychain things right there this is only 12.99 and this bag is huge the interior is also not even in bad condition it's actually pretty clean inside and there's lots of compartments there's a front and back like magnetic snap compartment and they're both in great shape so i'm just gonna stuff the bag and let it reshape itself there are some marks down here but i think those are superficial like i think i can just clean them off with like a leather conditioner or something i think it's just dirty and it needs a little bit of help on the corners but they're actually not too bad duty and burke bags are really like great quality so it's pretty easy to restore them especially if they're just like if it's something that's just like a little dirty they're they usually clean up pretty well so Dooney and Burke. And then last but not least, this is our last item. And I was actually using this for lighting earlier. Let me see. It's really great. I'm really excited. This is, this. I saw the lamp from afar and I was like, it's one of those cool like modern lamps. Sorry, it's like plugged in. I don't want to yank it out. But there it is. It has like this telescopic -y, I don't know if it's telescopic, is that what you call it? But the whole base moves around. Like you can wiggle this thing. And then this part also moves as well. And turn it on like that. And what's cool is you can make it brighter or make it lower. So it's just a really cool light. Very modern, very awesome. It's silver. 
Um, I don't even think it's like dented. I think like this kind of stuff is kind of reminds me of the like Apple when they had like the aluminum casing. You just need to wipe it off and then like the marks will come off. But it's really, really cool, very modern. What's crazy is that they actually sell this currently still on uh, Crate and Barrel and also at Wayfair. Those were like the first two that popped up when I looked it up. The brand is called Human Scale and these are, this is a $500 lamp. Like it's crazy, $500. I was like, for a desk lamp? Like it's chic, it's fabulous, but I'm like $500 crazy and uh this was only eight bucks the thing too was people were literally following following me around for this lamp like i don't know why <laughs> like i know why because it was fabulous and amazing and apparently really expensive but it was sitting in the lamp section already like it was already there like it didn't come out like it was already sitting there so you know how it is too like when someone finds something they're like carrying it around and it just like makes other people like what is that you know so especially when you see it like it's actually like very nice and then when you hold it it's actually very substantial like you know when something's like really heavy and feels really well made and you just know that it's expensive like that's what that thing is and i was like literally carrying it around the store and i was like man this is heavy then i had to eventually get a cart then i found all this stuff that was actually one of the first things that i found um maybe like the first like i found two bags first and then that i don't know but yeah <laughs> i was just like carrying all this stuff and then people were like asking like oh what is that is that a lap and i was like yeah and they're like oh it's really nice and i'm like yeah it's really cool thanks but that's it for today i uh, hope you guys had fun checking out the store i will also link the next live sale as well up there and down below in the description box if you guys want to join one of those and if you can't make it to the next live one or that live sale already ended you can always watch the replays of the live sales as well items availability and their pricing are going to be in the description boxes of those videos so i can't talk anymore um also let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently at the thrift i feel like a lot of thrift stores have been getting a lot of new items recently because a lot of people are spring cleaning i know we are i'm actually going to be doing that right after i end this video so check out your local thrift stores. They're getting some really great stuff. I feel like, um, I felt like our local thrift stores were kind of drying out, like not too long ago. And then like just within the past week, I feel like there's been just like an insurgence of really cool stuff. So check out your local thrift. Maybe you'll find something cool. Let me know what it is. And oh, tune in tomorrow by nearly at 7 a.m. for a new video. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye guys.